Do you think the education and training leaving age should be raised to 18? I don't really think it should be raised to 18 because if they have their own choice after 16, if they can, you know, be put a campaign forward for votes at 16, if they should be able to pay their own tax at 16, why not, you know, have their own opinion to leave or stay on? They have their own choice, they should have one choice, so I don't agree with that. Um, do you think young people should be forced to stay in education after the age of 16 or should it be voluntary? They shouldn't be forced to actually stay on because the only thing you could do is help them or make, you know, you can't make their choice, you could just put them towards the right direction but you cannot make their choice for them. The choice made for them is going to be through them own selves. They have their own views, their own knowledge, so they should use it. Do you think there should be more financial support for young people to remain in education? Definitely, I think there should be more financial support because that is one barrier that needs to be broken because there is young people in deprived areas that don't get much you know, money so they can't actually move forward towards what they want to do. They have dreams and they can't live them due to you know, having no money at all. So if you know, Parliament looks at the deprived areas and works with them to move them forward, then I think that would be a better place to start from. And um, do you think PSHE and citizenship should be compulsory? Compulsory? That is a bit of a tricky question because I'd say you should get to know each other and about their own diversities and different ethnicities and they should each get educated about each other but then compulsory it'd be like saying you have to have to do it so forcing them into it so I'm a bit balanced on that the scale is still not loose. Um, so if you, with PSHE and stuff and citizenship mm -hmm. is the way it is at the moment, um, what sort of topics do you think should be covered in these classes like for example sexual health, political parties? Definitely parties? sexual health should be covered, political parties, they need to know what they're going to do with, what about different ethnicities, they need to know about different cultures, so instead of just being stereotypical up front and that, they should know about their cultures and what, where they're coming from about that. People should have respect for each other's cultures and that should be bought on which different cultures do what different things and you know go by that.